Hey guys, what is up? It is No Help, and welcome back to another video today. So in today's video, we're going to be testing out my lowish level rune dragon alt. We just kind of got all the requirements in the past month, got the armor and the gear, a little bit of the stats. We worked a lot on, on construction for the best house for this method, so I think we're ready to test it. Now, as you can see from my stats on this account, it is not maxed. And we also only have level 70 prayer. So I feel like getting 85 or even 90 prayer would help here quite a bit just to uh, not have to use and drink as many prayer potions and less often, obviously. And then um, our melee stats and HP could definitely use some improvement as well. Um, this is the gear that I'm going to be taking to Rune Dragons. It is pretty good gear. This definitely took a long time to save up for. Um, so we're rocking the Justicar armor with the Dragon Hunter Lance, uh, mi uh, Mythical Cape. We've got an Amulet of Fury, Peaceful Blessing, Dragon Fire Shield. Um, insulated Boots are a must here for AFKing. Barrows, Gloves, and a Warrior Ring. We couldn't afford a Berserker Ring after this whole setup. And for the inventory, we're going to be taking an extended super anti-fire four dose, um, a divine super combat potion four dose, four prayer potions, ten sharks, um, ten karma wands, and then we've got a, uh, a teleport to a bank. I'm just going to be using a crafting cape, and then I also bring some house teleports. So why even kill rune dragons in the first place is because they make a lot of money. And the requirements for this is Dragon Slayer 2. Um, basically, it's saying at uh, with 90 plus melee stats, 75 magic, um, and prayer, you can expect to make about 1.3 million GP per hour. I don't think we will quite make that, but uh, you can get lucky with some of the drops. As you can see, 100% of the time, they will drop Dragon Bones and a Runite Bar, which right there is already, what, 15k, a little bit more than that. And then the the other uh, weapons that it does drop, a bunch of armor and weapons, is all nice rune alcables, which they're ranging from like 8k all the way up to about 40k, and a few dragon items as well, which is very nice to see, 160k elks, a bunch of good uh, runes and uh, rune arrows, a bunch of herbs, and even just the other drops can add up to be quite a bit. If you get like a runeite ore drop, it can be up to 56k, which is just crazy. Um, some of the rare drops, you can get a um, Dragon Limbs, which is about 1.5 million GP. You can get a Dragon Visage, which is about 3.2 million. And then a Dragon Metal Lump, which is about 600k. So you can expect some rare drops from time to time. It's also a good way to get Elite Clue Scrolls, 1 in 300. So it is a very popular alt to make because it is fairly AFK and can net you about a million GP per hour very easily and consistently all of the time. Um, so I'm going to work on this account and get the maxed uh, stats and some more prayer and stuff like that. And this should be a power machine. Upgrade the gear a little bit too. But uh, today we're going to just test it for an hour and see how good it is to kill rune dragons. So we're going to start this off by just teleporting over to my house. This is why I uh, worked a while to get my Ornite pool for construction. Um, I got all the way up to level 84 and then boosted to make the pool. And then we also have a mounted dig site pendant at the house so we can just teleport right to Rune Dragons right away basically, which is very, very handy to have and also saves a bit of inventory space. From here, you just want to run north and climb down the stairs and then enter the broken door to where the rune dragons are now some this is a very popular place there could be two three people in here at a single time um it doesn't really matter uh, if there's a few people in here but i'm just gonna hop worlds for the sake of it to try and get a nice clean world well i think there's another guy in here but it is what it is so you're gonna start by drinking a divine super combat and an anti-fire potion and put your quick prayers um on for um protect from magic and then piety so that will be your quick prayer so you can just quickly turn those on whenever you want and just basically walk into the room 
and as you can see you can kind of afk this you can hit some pretty good uh numbers on these dragons i'm getting really lucky at the start here but uh it's fairly afk and at, at the end of each kill i'll usually eat a shark and then a carbon to get back to full health sometimes the dragon will just rip you apart and you'll end up using like six food per kill or something like that but sometimes you get pretty good and uh as you can see it's fairly afk now another option i see a lot of people take here is the ring of well or the um, ring of life or say a defense cape or something like that so that uh, if they're afking too hard you'll get teleported away i'm going to be kind of focusing a little bit this hour so i'm not going to be bringing the ring of life but it is a great option and as you can see it takes ah uh, forever to kill these dragons um so that's another really good benefit of this it's fairly afk so it kind of seems overpowered like they drop so much good, crazy stuff every kill like a room bar every kill but you got to remember each kill does take quite a bit of time so there we go with the first kill um and we'll see what we get so we got the room bar uh, a dragon bones and some rune arrows so what is that 12 13 14 15 16 17 uh 17k that kill which is pretty damn good so i'm gonna track this for a full hour today and i'll reset my experience like that as well i'll show you how i do my banking when the trip is over and yeah we'll just see how good it is to have this alt and you know it could be a lot better we can get some better gear better stats so yeah let's just start the hour now Okay, I think that's going to be the end of this trip. Maybe we can squeeze another kill in. Okay, so we did manage to get that last kill in there, just barely though. And then from here, I would just go teleport to the crafting guild or whatever bank that you're going to be using. And then we can gear up again. So basically, I'll show you what we actually made from that first trip. We managed to get eight kills in about eight minutes eight and a half minutes right here so we're just gonna throw everything up on the loot tracker this wasn't like a great trip to be honest we didn't get anything too expensive but yeah 214k for the first trip not too bad okay so for my banking i usually just head to my little rune dragon tab deposit everything in here and then i will grab a uh, fresh potions and stuff like that again we need to quickly do this um so we still have two doses two doses which is good we can take four more of the prayer potions out and then just simply 10 and 10 and teleport right back to the house first so that we can heal everything up and teleport right back to the rune dragon so banking really doesn't take too long at all um like say a minute to do everything in the bank get geared up for the next trip you got your full stats again you could even bring a spec weapon if you like if you have something like dragon claws or I, I even like a dds maybe would be really cool here but i haven't really tested that out yet because i've mainly just been afking this so yeah we've got another like 50 minutes so let's just uh hope for the best and get as many kills as we can trip number two 284k another decent one we got three of the room plate bodies 270k okay 272 235.9k and 235 we've got about six minutes left on the timer but i will probably just do another full trip you know a okay, last trip here another three uh plate bodies 283k and we were about an hour and five minutes okay so just in over an hour we managed to kill 51 rune dragons which is actually crazy to me i thought it was going to be more towards like 30 or 40 we might have got pretty lucky in the hour as well and uh yeah 51 that's pretty crazy and that was uh making us about 1.64 million gp so we actually beat the wiki i thought we'd get about a million and we made about 1.6 million we did get fairly lucky with the room plate bodies um and as you can see it showed that we gained 51 kills i was only able to actually get 49 of the runite bars and 45 of the bones so that's gonna make the price go down a little bit you obviously don't get to uh loot everything you know what i mean sometimes you have to teleport out sometimes a bot steals your loot stuff like that 
And as for the experience, we gained a total of 101k XP in the hour, 25k attack strength and defense and HP, and 200 prayer experience from either accidentally burying dragon bones or burying them because I needed some more inventory space. Alright, so we're going to actually sell all the loot right now and see what the actual GP value is. Alright, so for an hour and five minutes of killing rune dragons, we made 1,555k. That's pretty good, to be completely honest with you, for just an hour of something that's so incredibly AFK. It's pretty insane. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go and restart this and kill 1,000 of them from scratch and make a video about it in about a month or so. We might work on the account a little bit as well, maybe train some prayer, get some more of the combat stats up, maybe get some like a berserker ring, maybe a fire cape, so stuff like that. Torture might be nice too. We'll upgrade the account here and there, but you know, an alt that will make 1.5 million GP an hour and it's fairly afk love rune dragons such a good method to do to make a lot of money um i will be making a video in the next couple of weeks explaining on how to make a rune dragon alt um i wasn't like going for it the whole time i slowly made it a gargoyle alt and then did this and did that and started making it like a main account right and i can go through the steps to actually make enough money to get all of this gear right this is kind of like the focus of it why i did certain skills like i trained cooking and uh fletching and stuff like that to make money and a lot of rune crafting as well and slayer and a lot of gargoyles to be able to afford this type of gear and be able to make the rune dragon alt i would say for an average player it could take about six months to a year depending on how much you play to get to an account that will just generate money like this but uh yeah i'll be making that video within a couple of weeks but thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you in the next one see ya later